I'm going to put this car on the rollers. Right now. Let's just go back to this one. Now you see our centre differential is locked. So yeah. what we've done is we've divided the drive 50 to the front and 50 to the rear. And if I just shuffle on there, like that. Right, How okay. did you lock that again, sorry? It locks automatically. It locks, oh, okay, right. Yeah. The yeah. sensors detect. Right, now we're not yeah. doing anything, are we? No. Yeah. Now in theory, if I didn't have that diff locked, that front wheel on the front roller here would be spinning like mad. Right. right, yeah. So if I can just pick me up just slightly without moving the vehicle. Right, I'm just going to go to grass, gravel, snow. It's not doing anything. No. I'm going to mud and ruts. What one now? Are you going? Why? Sorry. Oh, mud and ruts. All oh, right. Yeah. Let's go to sand, let's see if we get a reaction out of the sand. Now listen for the engine. Yeah. There. Yeah. Mm. Now you see how the torque has just suddenly picked up. Right. And it's moved this. We've now run 1200 revs. So we've sat at 800 revs before. Right. That's the mm. time it takes to do Nice to see that, because I can guarantee you now, you couldn't get out and stand on them rocks and you go flat. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They are very, very slippery. Well, they're not slippy, they're very, very sort of well lubricated. Mm -hmm. They simulate ice. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, we'll where we stand. Steve's Phil, Yeah, Phil, send over. I'm just going to do a failed hill pipe demonstration on hill one, if that's okay. So I don't know what your plans were, if you want to sneak up behind me or... Yeah, I'm going to dive on a hill too, mate. I'm going to do a little bit of a traction control demo. Okay. Right, we have traction control. Okay, and the reason traction control is because we'll get slight. Well, your camera's good. Right, yeah. so he's going to go up there and he's going to do really fine. Good I'm going to go up there yeah. and do fine. Yeah. Right, you see the big potholes? If you look in front there, right? Okay, yeah, you've got potholes. Okay, right now, if we start spinning wheels, yeah. which we will do in any second, I think. See? Now I've got to start it. Just gently accelerating. Yeah. And they're right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely correct. Right. Okay. Still got through. No problem at all. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. And it was just a gradual. It wasn't aggressive. No. It just no. started gradually increasing. Yeah. Right now, if I ever feel to get the top of a hill and have to reverse back down, then I must select reverse gear. But immediately I select reverse gear. With the hill descent on, the hill descent will go to its lowest target speed. Right. Don't have to mess around with it. It will do it. Okay. I'll just let Philip wander off out of the way. So I feel it, he's going to the left, yeah? Well, I hope so. <laughs> right. Yeah. There he goes. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my foot off the accelerator. The foot off the brake. There we go. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to feel the control. Uh, right, ooh, ooh, and then grab it, ooh, ooh, and then grabs it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Look at those potholes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's you're not touching any of the pedals. Feet away from everything. I'm letting the car do the work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
crap. And look at that, John the Pots there. Look. Yeah. Yeah, he's really. Um, so you're working impressive. on the situation here is um, sort of less is more. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Less is more. I should just do that. Right now, if you're going to climb a hill, yeah, on a loose surface or whatever, always climb in the highest practical gear. Same with the defender. Okay. Right. And the only way to find that out is to try it because it could be first gear. No, it wouldn't be first gear. It could be second gear or third gear. I'm going to select third gear in this move. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go uphill one. Just give myself a few revs. I'm not being aggressive. But I'm going to go through the potholes. So just give yourself a little bit of momentum, which you've got to. Yeah. Keeping the throttle nice and positive. Yeah. Mm. I just think there's a drama that would unfold if I, if I was doing that. <laughs> right now, when I'm on tracks, very important when I'm off road, I always follow the track. That means I don't straight line or try to take the sides. Right. I'm following the outer curve of this track. So with this, that, you're, when you say the outer curve, you mean the sides yeah. where I'm on here? Okay, yeah. Right now, I can see the ground where I am. Okay? Yeah. Absolutely silver. Right now, I'm just going to stroll into the woods. Okay. Oh. Now, if I've been in Africa, I probably want to get out and check this car. In case the termites have been narrow. I'm across that now. I'm not looking at the ground. I'm looking up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen this already when I've come up the hill. Yeah. I'm looking up the hill and I'm saying, well, look, it looks higher on the right than it is on the left. Yeah. Quick look in that mirror. There, I'm in the lowest point. I've got plenty of ground clearance. And I'm just wondering. No, I'm looking at the gate. Yeah. Over the top we go. Right, well, I'm going to follow the outer curve. Right? Yeah. For the simple reason, I'll get into here, and I can see around the corner before I start turning. So that way, if there's anything untoward around the corner, yeah.